Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best budget tablets. Starting at number 5. Lenovo Chromebook Duet. The Lenovo Chromebook Duet is a solid Chrome tablet that delivers decent performance and good battery life for $249, or less if you can find it on sale. While a tablet like the iPad or Galaxy Tab A7 may offer a better screen or a better selection of touch-friendly games to play, no slate can match the versatility of this Chrome tablet without a keyboard attached. The fact that Lenovo throws in a detachable keyboard with every duet at no charge is the killer feature that elevates it onto this list, as it means you can effectively get a nice Chrome tablet that doubles as a productivity device in a pinch for under $300. You won't be playing the latest PC games or doing serious video editing on this Chrome tablet, but you can use it to knock out some emails or edit documents in a pinch, and that's great value. Design, without the keyboard attached, the Duet feels like a solid tablet that's about 0.3 inches thick and weighs just over a pound. This makes it easy to use on the couch or in the car, as Chrome OS is nearly as touch-friendly as Android or iPad OS. Plus, the kickstand on the back, while somewhat weak, is nice to have when using it on an airplane or at your kitchen table. Coming at number 4. Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus. The Amazon Fire HD 10 Plus is a lightly upgraded version of the company's existing Fire HD 10 tablet, and until the debut of the Fire Max 11 it was the biggest, beefiest Amazon tablet you could buy. While we do like the larger, beefier Fire Max 11 well enough, we still recommend the Fire HD 10 Plus to those hunting for a great cheap tablet because it's relatively cheap, $179 to start, for what you get. You can pay a small fee to remove lock screen ads, which we recommend, or to double the storage to 64GB, which might not be worth it when you consider this slate has a microSD card slot and can support up to an additional 1TB of storage via microSD card. Design, measuring 9.7 by 6.5 by 0.4 inches and weighing just over a pound makes the Fire HD 10 Plus an easy slate to tote around, and the upgrade to Plus brings with it a soft touch finish that might feel a little more comfy in your hands than the usual anodized aluminum tablet chassis. There's a single USB-C port for charging, and the upgrade to the Plus model also brings with it the option of wireless charging since this tablet is Qi certified and can charge via supported wireless charging pads. At number 3. Microsoft Surface Go 2. The Microsoft Surface Go 2 remains our top recommendation for a cheap Windows tablet because it offers all the functionality of Windows in a sleek, portable slate. It offers better battery life than either its predecessor or successor, which is why we continue to recommend it despite its age. While the newer Surface Go 3 ships with a faster processor and Windows 11 instead of Windows 10, our testing reveals it's nearly identical to the Go 2 in terms of display quality and performance, while actually offering worse battery life. Design, the Surface Go 2 looks a lot like its larger siblings in Microsoft's Surface lineup, sporting a silver magnesium shell and reflective Microsoft logo on the back. At 9.7 by 6.9 by 0.3 inches and 1.22 pounds, 1.75 W slash optional type cover attached, the Surface Go 2 is slightly smaller and heavier than an iPad. It's nice that the Surface Go type covers are available in an ice blue, seen here, poppy red, platinum and black. But we wish Microsoft also offered similar striking colors for the Surface Go's chassis. Number 2 of my list. Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 The Samsung Galaxy Tab A7 is one of the best cheap Android tablets you can buy because it delivers decent performance in a premium, elegant design for not a lot of money. The Tab A7 wasn't built to compete with the best tablets on the market, but with nice thin bezels and useful features like facial recognition, it's competitive with the 2021 iPad despite costing $100 less. Design, weighing 1.1 pounds and measuring 9.8 by 6.2 by 0.3 inches, the Galaxy Tab A7 looks and feels like an iPad. But it's a hair cheaper, and it comes with some features the iPad can't match, like expandable storage. 
You get nice thin bezels and a premium feeling aluminum chassis that does bend a bit if you really try, along with USB-C port for charging and a micro SD card slot and headphone jack, two things the modern iPad doesn't offer. Display, the 10.4 inch, 2000 by 1200 pixels, display on the Tab A7 is more than good enough for browsing the web or watching movies. It's a lower resolution than the iPad and it doesn't get as bright, but you'd have to set them side by side to notice. And number 1. Apple iPad. The 2021 Apple iPad is a solid all-around tablet that runs just about any app from Apple's App Store with ease. The 2021 model is recommended for those on a budget because it's the last one Apple sold at a starting price of $329, before jacking the price up over $100 with the $449 2022 model. Admittedly, the newer iPads have a sleeker design with thinner bezels and no headphone jack, but the newer design and speedier processor aren't necessarily worth the extra cost. Design, the 2021 Apple iPad looks like an iPad, albeit with a slightly thicker, chunkier design than the most modern iterations. Its thick bezels may be an eyesore, but if they bother you just remember you're saving over $100 by accepting them. This is also the last iPad Apple sold with a headphone jack, so if you like plugging in your own cans this is probably the best iPad to buy. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.